When severe weather is in the forecast, what makes you decide to act or disregard the warning? Social psychologists are studying what makes people take action or ignore warnings during severe weather events like tornadoes, hurricanes, snowstorms, and wildfires. Inside Science. Over the course of my life, I've actually been exposed to quite a number of severe weather, natural disasters. So I've always actually been really interested in natural disasters and how people respond to that and what they choose to do during those situations. My dissertation is aimed at examining why people choose to protect themselves or not during severe weather events. So the values that you hold to be important, how that influences what you choose to do or choose not to do. Shivers Williams learned that deciding whether to heed warnings or not wasn't just about physical abilities. There is an emotional element. I was actually really surprised at that, um, that there was such a strong sense of family and community obligation, and that actually would keep people from making some self-protective decisions. When you look at some of the studies that have been published about why or why not people didn't leave New Orleans after Katrina, a lot of that qualitative data suggests, well, if I leave, who's gonna take care of my neighbor? Because this person is elderly, or this person is disabled, or this person needs medication, and they can't leave. So I'm not gonna leave, because if I leave, there's no chance for this person. People's decisions also changed depending on the severe weather event. The things that would keep people from evacuating in a hurricane situation are not necessarily the same things that would keep people from taking shelter during a tornado, and they're not necessarily the same things that would keep people from evacuating during a wildfire. She also learned that no matter what kind of severe weather was approaching, people shared common reasons for not packing up and leaving. But when you look across these situations, there are common themes that come up, like logistical issues. People don't protect themselves because they don't have the funds to leave, or they don't have transportation, or they don't have anywhere to go. There's this affective component or moral dilemmas. People feel bad about prioritizing their own safety over that of other people. And then the third common theme, as we talked about earlier, was just this sense of obligation to friends and family. That was a really big indicator of, well, I can't leave other people behind. I can't leave my friends. I can't do this in good faith, knowing that other people I know and I love need my help. One thing is for certain, most researchers urge everyone to listen to warnings to stay safe during any kind of severe weather. This is Inside Science. Inside Science. If you enjoyed this edition, follow us on the web and social media. Powered by the American Institute of Physics and a coalition of underwriters.